Hey guys, what's going on? I'm out here today gonna put up a new deer stand um, here over my food plot at my uncle's. I'm gonna show you guys how to do it by yourself. But I'm hanging a ladder stand. Might be a little bit tricky, but I have a few pointers that might help everyone out if you don't have somebody to help you. Got pretty much everything I'll need. I'll break this down. I'm gonna carry this over to the tree I'm gonna put it in. Now it's time to pick the tree. In between this tree or the big tree straight in line with the camera. This tree's a little bit bigger but how it's leaned. I don't know if I like it. I like the thickness when deer are looking straight on at me, but there's really no cover up at 17 feet where I'm gonna be. That tree doesn't have much cover either, but it does set off the plot a little further, which gives me that much more to hide with. So standing a ladder stand up all by yourself. My tip is, typically if I have somebody with me, somebody stands on the base and pushes the, and walks the ladder up. So in this case, it's just me. I'm going to shim the end of the ladder into the base of a tree, preferably the tree that I'm going to be putting the ladder stand on. And I'm going to walk the stand up and then accordingly move it around. Walk the ladder up. Make sure you're firmly against your base. Start walking. I have a little resistance with the tree branches. Once you get it vertical, take the bottom of the stand, push it out, and get it to where the stand sits comfortably up against the tree. This is not the angle that I want to have the stand at, but for pushing it up, this was the most clear path away from branches, so this is the angle that I decided to take. At this point, you're going to want to work the stand around the tree to the angle that you might think might be correct for you. It's also important to realize what trees you have for cover. This tree right here in front of me is big and leafy right now. So if I'm being honest, I don't know exactly what tree this is, but I'm familiar enough to know that those leaves turn and fall early. So compared to an oak tree, you might have leaves that hang on a little bit longer and give you cover that much longer. Well, you get out here in the field and you got a pretty big window right out the gate. You can see Right away, you can see the stand, which kind of puts you in the wide open. Okay, so from where I was earlier, I angled my stand a little bit more to this corner. If you can tell it now there's a branch, that'd be about exactly where I need to be standing. So I think I can still utilize the tree that I chose originally by angling it a little bit. Now this is a 17 foot ladder stand, and I gotta say there's two things. Um, I do this differently depending on what I have. Right now I don't have it, so I have to do it this way. I like to take a half inch or three quarter inch piece of plywood big enough to sit on the ladder so you don't lose six inches of ladder stand going into the ground. This scenario, I'm, I don't have any plywood. Like a lot of people, like most people, I'm hopping on the base of the ladder, smashing it in. Really trying to make sure it's nice and stable. Get my ladder stand right where I want it. My advice for picking which step works the best is try to find the middle because you don't want too much down where it's gonna bow beneath you while you're up there and you don't want too much up where vice versa it goes the other way. Instead of picking the one that's closest, I like to push on the ladder just a little bit. That will hold your ladder in place wherever fits best. So whenever you're climbing, you don't get no rattling. After you attach your string to your ladder support with however you choose, I chose a bowline because I know one day this is gonna dry rot and be no good. So I'll probably replace it with a strap then, but this is what comes with the stand. So this is what I'm using for now. I'm gonna take the rope, go around the tree, and keep it as, I'm gonna keep it as level as possible. Once you get your ladder stabilizer in place and where you like it, it's time to get ready to go up the ladder. You have a couple choices here. When you're by yourself, Safety is number one, obviously. So what you're gonna wanna do, either you're gonna wanna use a safety harness or a lineman's belt, 
or some way that you'll be able to attach yourself to that tree so you can't fall backwards. And what I mean by that is I'm going to be using my hunting harness, which has these two hip rings right here. These are the ticket for me doing a ladder stand by myself. Okay, so I'm gonna load my pockets with the stuff I need. These are ladder straps, and then the ratchet strap is in my pocket. And then the other important part is you're gonna need some kind of rope. This is the first rope I saw in the garage, so this is what I chose. Just make sure it's long enough to get around the tree and back to you. And so what I like to do is just tie a small knot onto my hip ring. Tie me a little bowling. Something I know is gonna hold and be all right. And then this will be my slack. I should be plenty good and sturdy up to here, but it's best if you have a long enough rope to go around the tree. And this just happens to be a gigantic tree. And what you're gonna do is you're gonna literally climb up the ladder while you shimmy the rope up. And then that'll keep it to where if the ladder stand starts to fall backwards, you have a source to hang on and to pull yourself back to the tree until you get up there. And when you get up there, you can kind of grab the tree Tuck your rope in, tie yourself off. You'll be able to tie yourself off so you can use the harness to your advantage and have hands to work with while you secure the stand to the tree. This just happens to be one of the biggest trees I've ever put a tree stand in, but it's gonna work. Now what I can do, since I came up this way, I can secure this tree stand by just tying it. But honestly, I like holding on to it. I like having full control myself. I get my stand situated right where I want it. I'm gonna try to throw my strap around the tree to me. Got it. I'm gonna work the strap down to the height that it goes to and hook it to the bar that it goes on to. Ideally, you want your strap to be straight. Okay, I have my strap around the stand tight enough that the tree stand definitely can't fall anywhere. I still have my safety rope on, but I'm gonna get up here and check out this, check out the strap, see, make sure it looks right. So now I'm gonna tighten the ratchet strap little by little. Once you get it tight and it starts getting hard, Wiggle back and forth on the tree. You want to work yourself into the bark. That'll loosen up your strap. And go again. As you can tell, we're biting into the bark. A lot less wiggling going on up here. I'll go for one more click. Got it. Do a little extra knots with whatever extra strap you may have. Now that I got the stand hung, I'm going to go up and do some of the extras, kind of talk you guys through how I like my setup. Just go around the ladder. This style, you got a little loop. You just pull the slack through and then push it down to the side of the ladder you want it on. Then I'm going to head down the ladder, pull these around the tree the way that I want them. So right away after I get the stand fully strapped up top, I come down and I do, I finish my ladder supporting because it's important to finish all of your ladder supports before doing any additional work up top. So I'm gonna take this strap as flat and smooth as I can. Now, this is a big tree, I hope I have enough. Now I'm gonna come around the back of the tree. Just adjust my angle since the tree's so big. Pulling tight. And I'll tie it off here. Same thing the other way. Pretty dang sturdy. You can be about as quiet as you want climbing this thing. As the slower you go, the quieter you're gonna be. So one of the first things I like to do as soon as I hang my new ladder stands is I need to look at my view. I need to see what I can see standing up. So if I'm gonna be bow hunting, I need to look at, see what I can see as if I'm sitting down, as if I'm gonna be rifle hunting. 
and so far I got some pretty good windows and um, I don't think I'm going to do a whole lot of trim in here because I'd rather have just a few shooting lanes and leave all my cover. Now that I've looked at my views, I'm going to go ahead and look and think about where I'm going to want my bow hanger and my backpack hanger. On my left side is typically where I want my bow because I grab my bow with my left hand. Okay, so as you can see, the only thing I have to say is with a bow hanger like this, you want to make sure you get it in the tree really good. It's obviously holding your bow that you're using to hunt with and you don't want your bow falling. I like this style because I can hang grunt calls or my rangefinder things off these little hooks if I need to. I always do two backpack hangers. One I typically use all the time and the other one is just kind of backup. But you never know when you have a bunch of camera gear or just things that you're going to have in the tree with you. An extra hook to hang something is always a good thing. And so it's also easy to get into my backpack so I don't have to reach way around the tree or or stand way up and reach real tall. I want to limit my movements as much as possible while reaching into my backpack. Regardless, you want to make sure your hangers are screwed in nicely to the tree. Some trees are going to be a pain in the butt, especially if your screw on your screw on tips are not sharp. If they are dull, you might have to take a hammer and tap the screw part, tap the base in to get it started. Just a friendly tip. Otherwise, you might fight it. I've been there. I've learned. I had to go pretty far up because the base to go around right here is just ridiculously too big for that strap. So I have my tether while well, I'm not using it. There's a nice little Velcro tab to hold it in place. So works pretty well. Thanks for joining me today, guys, as I hung this ladder stand by myself. I hope that if you're alone, hopefully you're not, hopefully you have a partner or a hunting buddy or somebody to help you. It just makes life that much easier and safer. If you have no one to help you and you gotta do it alone, hopefully this video has helped instruct you and given you ideas of how to go about doing it safely and to be cautious while you do it. I hope that some of my tips and tricks will help you hang your stands safely and efficiently. We'll see you in the next video. Thanks for watching.